keep watching this video to see four really cool and fun and super easy DIY t-shirt crafts. So for the pillowcase, I'm starting by removing the sleeves and then measuring how much fabric I had. It actually just perfectly fit this pillow that I wanted a pillowcase for anyway. Then I put the pillowcase on and roughly trimmed up the sides and then went back and made it more perfect and exact afterwards. So I put these two pieces of fabric right sides together, kind of inside out, and then pinned all the way around three of the edges, leaving the fourth one open for the zipper. After that, I just sewed those three edges down. And then I tried to figure out the zipper. This took me a long time. But I eventually figured it out, stuffed that pillow in, and I think he looks pretty cute. Making the shoelaces was not difficult at all. It starts with making t-shirt yarn. So I removed the top part of my t-shirt as well as the bottom hem of the shirt and then turned that torso piece so that it was long ways. I then folded it up so that I left about an inch between the top of the second row and the top of the first row and then cut all the way up leaving about half an inch at the top that was left uncut so that it stayed one continuous piece. After that, I opened it up down the center and then began cutting in a diagonal. It was crazy seeing this come to life. All of a sudden I started to see the yarn and not just strips of a t-shirt. It was a really simple process. And then after that, you just kind of stretch the fabric so that it curls on itself and becomes much more of a string rather than a strip. I did my best to keep this as orderly as possible. I measured and decided that my shoelaces needed to be about 42 inches. I didn't want to use any of the part where the logo on the shirt was, so I cut those pieces off. And I also wanted to double up the laces, so I made four total strips for myself. I then used tape to kind of cover up the ends and make it a little easier to thread through the eyelets. these turned out really cool and I can't wait to wear them. The next project was the headband. I actually ended up using the same t-shirt yarn since the steps to the beginning of these two projects were pretty similar. Then I made a loop with one and a horseshoe shape with the other. Right now I just gave myself a bunch of fabric and later I'll trim it down to a good size. So I followed the steps to make a sailor knot. Starting with the bottom piece next to my right hand, you make sure that the strings go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, and under again. And then after that, all you have to do is tighten it all up. I love how the knot turned out. I knew I wanted it to be sort of off-centered, so I placed it where I wanted, measured kind of just about what I wanted, and then I used hot glue to glue an excess strip onto either end, keeping all of the fabric together and organized. Then I just trimmed that up. I took a four inch by three inch piece of the loose fabric that was left over, pulled on it so that the edges curled in on themselves, and then folded it in the middle. I then used this as the piece to connect my headband in the middle. So I glued both sides to it, making sure that nothing was twisted or looped around itself. And then glued that piece together. If I were to make this again, I might sew instead of using hot glue, but I still love how the look turned out. might have been the simplest process, but I found a way to make it messy. So first what I did was cut off the sleeves, but I left the sleeve seams as that's supposed to reinforce the handles of the bags and make them a little sturdier. 
I did this on both sides and then I took a paper plate and used that as my template for the top of my bag. But I lost control of the cutter and went right through the sleeve. To clear up that mess, I used leftover scraps from the neckline and sewed them in to reinforce my little mistakes. After that, all I had to do was sew up the bottom hem. I went over it twice just to make sure it was nice and sturdy. And then after all that, I turned it inside out and I had my bag. I love how this turned out. It actually is huge and can fit a lot and it feels pretty reliable and sturdy too. Now, I wasn't planning on posting a video this week, but here it is. I wanted to show you guys these crafts anyway. They were the other four projects that went along with my DIY t-shirt quilt, which was all a part of my final English project, which was about upcycling, since some of you asked, what do old t-shirts have to do with an English class? Anyway, I did enjoy doing these crafts, and if the t-shirt quilt was a bit too advanced for you, these are definitely easy mode. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this or any of the other crazy stuff I have going on on this channel, then please subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye! Look at me pretending to be productive.